In this video, we're going to be using PAA Amalfi Coast and the PAA Phantom Blue Slant Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and welcome in folks, as I mentioned before. Today, we're gonna to be using PAA Amalfi Coast. And as you can see here on the label, it says for Jim, because this was a charity soap and the proceeds went to help Jim, who's a member of the community fighting cancer. Really awesome that PAA would do that. The cost on this is $24.95 for five ounces. And on a call chart there, that is $4.99 an ounce, which is a fair price. We give that a score of three out of five. On the quality of the scent, this scent is amazing. I'm gonna put the base notes for you on the screen right there. This is based on the classic Aqua de Parma Colonia uh, scent, which is absolutely phenomenal. If you've experienced Sterling Piacenza or Razor Rock Triple X, that's what this smells like. Scent quality, five out of five because it's an amazing scent. Scent strength is in that medium to medium high range. Really, really nice. I give that a score of four out of five. And this is in the uh, PAA CK6 formula. We'll put the ingredients for you right there on the screen. Very nice quality soap. As you know, uh, you should have no quality problems whatsoever. Uh, we made a nice creamy lather right there. I would give the ease of use a score of 4.5 out of 5. I had no problems making a very nice creamy lather. And we're looking forward to using this uh, PAA Amalfi Coast today. Sadly, it's no longer available because it was a short run, but we wanted to use it all the same. The razor for today is the PAA Phantom uh, Blue Slant razor. This comes to you for $26.95, I think, from PAA. And the blade that we have loaded in there is the Phantom or the Platinum Strangelet, I want to say. I got so much Phantom going today that because my brush is also Phantom. This is Phantom, so a lot of Phantom going. But anyway, uh, we look forward to using the Phantom Blue Slant today. And this is like a plastic or polymer. I'm not exactly sure what, but very lightweight. And there's a lot of torque on that blade, as you can see there. So we look forward to using that today. And so let's get started with the shave and I hope you're all having a great day so far. We're just gonna start by misting the face here. And remember, I will link all the products that are available below. This particular soap is not available any longer, sadly. Again, short run, but it's one of those that was for charity. So I don't mind when it's a short run for a charity purpose or a special purpose like that. And let's see what the lather looks like. And yeah, fantastic. PA definitely makes a good quality soap. There is no question about it. I did have a few clumps in here from where I pressed it in the bowl, but I worked it out. No problem. And we look forward to getting a great shave with this today. The scent on this is just phenomenal. I love this scent. It's one of my favorite scents of all time. Uh, I remember Triple uh, X 10 years ago had the, uh, or actually more than that now, I think they originally released Triple X in the UFO tub, maybe 11 or 12 years now. But anyway, the first time I smelled that, I was in love with <laughs> with this fragrance and I still love it. I wish this was part of PAA's normal lineup, this scent, because it's a scent that I believe that everyone should experience. And when you look at the notes, you might think, I don't know, but I'm telling you, this is a nice citrus forward type scent, well blended. And it's one of those where, had I looked at the notes before I ever smelled it, I, I don't know if I would have thought that I would have liked it, but when you get your nose on it, it's just phenomenal. It's one of my favorite scents at least, look at that. Nice lather there today. All right, very nice indeed. I meant to use the ice tube today and get some cooling going too, but I forgot to get it out. So we won't be using that today, but no worries. We're gonna dry off our hand here real quick and then we'll get going. We'll cut that back a little bit because we don't need to shave all the way down to our collarbone or at least not yet. <laughs> so let's get going today. All right, PAA Blue Phantom or Phantom Blue, however he calls it. Razor, very light as you would expect because it's made of a, you know, plastic or polymer. I don't know exactly, but a type of plastic, let's put it that way. That's fair enough. And very, very slanted and torqued, as you can see there. And a lot of people really like the torquing of blades like that in slants. Some people feel a slant doesn't do anything unless the blade is torqued. I don't know if I follow that or not or believe it, but I just sort of shave with things and see how they work. <laughs> you know, 
I'm not overly concerned if the blade is torqued, torqued too much, not enough. I just want to sort of use it and see how it goes. And I think even with that torque in the blade, this feels, you know, fairly mild to me. Um, then again, I prefer blade feel. So what I feel is, is mild. You all might think is a little more blade feely than I do, but not a ton of blade on this. Very light again. And the sub quality here, by the way, is what you would expect. It's going to be plenty slick enough. Um, and I, I think I gave, the last time I used a PAA soap, I think I gave it 4.5 out of 5. And honestly, I'm not sure why, because when I'm using the soap here, what I'm thinking about during the shave is, is it lacking anything? Slickness, cushion glide, anything like that? And the answer is no. So I'm not sure why I gave Red Planet 4.5 out of 5. I think maybe I was uh, thinking about lathering it, and, and that should always go in the ease of use category. Oh. I had a bloop there. <laughs> but honestly, as I'm using it here, I'm not detecting any sort of quality issues at all. It's plenty slick enough. Um, I evaluate soaps based on how they perform during the shave, not after, um, because I use, you know, again, post-shave products, and I mention that all the time, because I want people to be clear on how I evaluate soap products. So if you're highly interested in the post-shave properties, of a soap, I don't evaluate it from that perspective. Some people do, but I don't because I use post-shave products and nearly everyone uses post-shave products. It's kind of hard to really objectively determine how well something does in the post-shave if you're using post-shave products. So I try not to pollute my evaluations of soap with uh, with that because I know I'm, you know, I'm using other things. All right, second pass. First pass was great. Honestly, the quality of soap there was quite good indeed. It is definitely slick enough. It definitely has all the properties that you need. And I can't see where it's lacking anything. Uh, and honestly, whether for me, whether it's CK6 or the regular CK, I don't really discern any quality issues. Uh, once you get it lathered properly, and we do, we have that today, um, it should provide everything you need in terms of a really nice shaving experience provided you wield your equipment properly. And uh, as I always like to say, you are the most important element of the shave. And oftentimes that, that gets uh, missed. We sort of talk about gear all the time and we don't talk much about technique and knowing your face and knowing your equipment and using it properly. You are the most important element in the shave by far. Keep that in mind, especially if you're new. All right, let's get on here with pass two once we cut that back just a little bit. And I tell you what, the scent on this is phenomenal. Lovely Italian citrus type scent. Classic, I would call it. So many people have, have experienced this scent over the years, both in artisanal soaps, in, in aftershaves, and in the fragrance itself from Aqua de Parma. It is fantastic. And again, I think, um, personally, I wish Douglas had this in his... Uh, regular lineup. I think it's plenty good enough that it should be, but that's just me. At one point, he might have had this in his lineup. Um, but PAA, you know, they sort of roll things in and out. And I'm going to re-lather and do a against the grain pass real quick here, just in the interest of saving time. But definitely no quality problems with the soap. And assuredly, no problems with the scent, because I love this scent. One of my favorite scents of all time. This was one of the scents that really grabbed me uh, 10 years ago in the artisanal realm when, when Razor Rock um, put it out. I was like, holy cow, that's a great scent. You know, because at the time I was just using tobacco, Mitchell's Wolfat, you know, Palm Olive, Arco, the Tobbs creams, and so on and so forth. And then I happened across uh, Razor Rock Triple X, and I was like, woo, that's a good scent, you know. Not that the other soaps didn't have good scents or good performance, but Razor Rock Triple X was a game changer for me. That scent would just grab me and I was like, holy cow, this is good, you know? So it's one of those, uh, it's a scent I have a lot of reverence for because it's, it's one of the first artisanal sort of scents that really captured my imagination or at least captured my attention and went, oh, I need to, I need to try some more of these artisanal soaps, you know? Um, it was amazing and still is. 
All right, the razor here, by the way, if you, if you are averse to light razors and you need weight, uh, I wouldn't go anywhere near this one because this is extremely light. It's one of the more light razors that you will ever use. However, it still cuts well. It's a nice shaver, in my opinion. But if you're someone who needs some heft in your razors, obviously this would not be the, the best fit for you. I would, you know, try something else. You know, maybe that's something PAA should do is make one of these in some sort of metal. I don't know that PAA has made... I could be wrong on this and maybe, you know, I've missed it at some point, but I don't know if PAA has made slants in uh, metal. I know they made Bakelite or Bakelite, however you call it. And, you know, the, the plastics or whatever it is. Um, I don't know if they've ever made one in metal. So maybe that would be something cool for PAA to do. Make one of these in a some sort of steel or, you know, metal. Might be worth a shot. Douglas, if you're listening, hint. <laughs> It would give uh, the people who are averse to light razors something to, to try. A slant that's really torqued. Might be hard to produce, I don't know, but it's an idea. All right, there we go. Very nice, wow, what a scent this is, and look at the lather on that. So quality on this. I know last time when I used PAA, I think I called it 4.5. I, I can't see where this formula is missing anything in terms of slickness push and glide and if it's not missing anything that's kind of it's kind of a five by definition isn't it it's not leaving me uh wanting for anything so you know that's good um i would just say sometimes the uh the consistency of paa you know, it's kind of rough on the top and today when i was lathering it i had a few little clumps that you know pressed down in the bowl it kind of moved around on me and I, I don't really like that that much but you could let it um, maybe dry out a little bit and maybe it would be a little, little bit easier to work with I'm not sure but honestly it's been a pretty good experience here today and we were happy to buy this soap and help support Jim I don't know uh, Jim personally but I know he's been in the community you know I'm, I'm aware of him and uh, certainly my my heart goes out to Jim even though I don't know him well because I you know, have family members of my own going through cancer, as you all know. And of course, our friend Taylor will have something uh, coming up tomorrow um, for Taylor. And I'll show you that tomorrow. So make sure you come back here tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited about that. And this has been a nice shave today. I tell you what, the scent on this is amazing. And we bought the splash as well. So we look forward to using that. All right, that was an excellent shave. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off came. We did a warm water rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we applied our PAA alum. After applying the alum, there was no sting, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel. Prior to applying the magic made by witches, this is Thayer's Witch Hazel cucumber. I had an excellent shave today with PAA Amalfi Coast, which sadly isn't available, but perhaps they'll bring it back at some point. And let's run through our scores very quickly. Cost, three out of five. Scent quality, five out of five. Scent strength, four out of five. Ease of use, 4.5 out of five. Overall quality, five out of five. And that brings it to a total score of 21.5 out of 25. I enjoyed this soap a lot. It was really, really good. We used the PAA Phantom Slant today, which was very nice indeed. If you don't like light razors, I would stay away from this, but otherwise it's a nice little shaver. You might have to apply a little bit of pressure because it's light, but really nice shaver. And of course we used the PAA Platinum Strange Lip Blade in the razor, and that was nice as well. We used our Phantom Aerolite brush from PAA, and it's riding in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we're gonna close it out today with the PAA Amalfi Coast Splash, which I expect to be very nice indeed. And I hope wherever you are today, you're, you have an excellent shave and an excellent day. This is gonna be nice if I can ever get it out of there with <laughs> this restrictor on there. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, that is the stuff right there. I love this scent, fantastic. Woo. That puts me in a good mood and I hope you're in a good mood <laughs> as well. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.